When you see Optimus 3, yeah, uh, you, it, it will seem as though that there's someone, like a, like a person in a robot outfit, um, which is how we started with Optimus. The development of Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus, has accelerated far beyond early expectations. At the start of the year, its clumsy walking motion was still being joked about online. Yet before the year even ended, the robot had already surpassed every existing humanoid model, achieving the most natural and human-like stride ever recorded. And that was only the 2.5 version. What's coming next is on a completely different level. Elon Musk has officially announced that Optimus Gen 3, the first true commercial model, will be released in the first quarter of next year, marking a breakthrough in both design and performance. According to Musk, Gen 3 will be capable of handling as many as 5,000 practical jobs, ranging from household chores and cooking to assisting elderly individuals. Any skepticism people had has practically vanished after the latest demonstration. Optimus Gen 3 will far surpass not only its earlier prototypes, but also every current humanoid robot on the market. So, what exactly sets Optimus Gen 3 apart? And why is Elon Musk so certain that Tesla will dominate the future of personal and industrial robotics? Before diving into these upgrades, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. It would be a huge motivation for us to keep bringing you amazing episodes about Tesla humanoid robots and all the latest AI and EV innovations from Elon Musk. When Tesla first unveiled Optimus, the robot could barely take a few steps without looking awkward. Its movements were stiff, slow, and far from human-like. Yet in just a short time, Tesla has transformed its mobility at an unbelievable pace. Today, Optimus Gen 3 can sprint at roughly 6.8 miles per hour, fast enough to move through factories or industrial sites with ease, without disrupting ongoing workflows. This leap forward is far more than a cosmetic upgrade. It reveals Tesla's significant advancements in motion control, multi-sensor perception, and balance algorithms. At this speed, Optimus Gen 3 can quickly travel between workstations, handle urgent tasks, and stay stable without constantly tipping over or struggling to keep balance. Elon Musk has repeatedly claimed that the robot can function around the clock without needing downtime. If that becomes reality, Optimus Gen 3 won't just assist humans. It will replace millions of repetitive jobs that people do today. According to Musk, its productivity could exceed human output by a factor of five, making the robot a valuable labor force in both homes and industrial environments. What really sets Optimus Gen 3 apart isn't just its legs, it's its hands. Many competitor robots focus on acrobatic jumping and flashy demos to show agility, but they struggle with practical tasks. Tesla took the opposite approach. Musk prioritized dexterity, precision, and grip strength. Just compare Optimus's hands from 2021 to today. They are practically an entirely new system. Thanks to these upgrades, Optimus can cook meals, clean surfaces, pick up delicate objects, and perform complex routines that require fine motor control. Tesla envisions that, with future improvements, the robot could assist in hospitals, manufacturing lines, or even surgical environments. This opens the possibility that Optimus Gen 3 might one day act as a medical assistant, or perhaps even a surgeon. While it is still too early to make definitive claims, Musk believes the robot may eventually reach a level of precision beyond human surgeons. One of the key elements enabling Optimus to work long hours is its new battery system. Tesla has equipped Gen 3 with 4680 battery cells, the same breakthrough technology used in the company's electric vehicles. This allows the robot to run for up to 10 hours before needing to recharge, a huge improvement over earlier prototypes that lasted only a few hours. Even charging requires no human effort. When its battery runs low, Optimus returns to its dock and charges automatically, making it a perfect fit for workplaces or households that need continuous automation without manual upkeep. Unlike traditional robots that simply follow pre-programmed routines, Optimus Gen 3 can learn on the job. Tesla built its brain using the same AI foundation behind full self-driving technology, enabling the robot to understand objects, environments, and tasks in a human-like way. When it walks into a kitchen, it knows the difference between a knife and a pan, and it understands how to use each one appropriately. Using 3D vision and sensor mapping, Optimus creates its own understanding of the space around it and makes decisions with minimal human assistance. When is the Tesla Optimus release date? The Q3 2025 earnings call marked a pivotal moment, as Musk shifted the conversation from experimental demos to concrete timelines for unveiling and production suggesting that Optimus is no longer just a sci-fi dream, but a viable commercial offering on the horizon.
One of the most exciting revelations came when Musk discussed the upcoming Optimus version 3. He stated that Tesla is looking forward to unveiling this third iteration, probably in the first quarter of 2026, emphasizing that it will be ready to show off and describing it as remarkable. This timeline aligns with Tesla's aggressive push toward market readiness, building on the progress made with previous versions. Musk's enthusiasm was palpable as he highlighted how Optimus Gen 3 represents a leap forward in design and functionality. Unlike earlier models, which were more about proving concepts, Optimus 3 is positioned as a production intent prototype, meaning it's engineered with scalability and real-world deployment in mind. This shift indicates that Tesla is moving beyond internal testing to preparing for public demonstrations that could attract potential buyers, from factories seeking automation solutions to households envisioning robotic assistance. And obviously, like the, the, the real-world intelligence we've, devel we've developed for the car, most of that transfers to Optimus. So it's a, it's a very good starting point. A key factor accelerating Optimus toward commercial viability is the seamless transfer of technology from Tesla's automotive division. Musk pointed out that the real-world intelligence developed for Tesla's cars forms an excellent starting point for the robot. Tesla's full self-driving system, which has accumulated billions of miles of supervised driving data, relies on sophisticated neural networks to perceive the environment, make decisions, and adapt to unpredictable scenarios. Much of this AI architecture can be repurposed for Optimus, enabling it to understand and interact with the physical world in ways that other robots struggle to achieve. For instance, the same vision systems that allow a Tesla vehicle to navigate traffic can help Optimus recognize objects, avoid obstacles, and perform tasks like sorting items or assisting in warehouses. This cross-pollination of technology not only reduces development time but also enhances Optimus's reliability, making it more appealing for commercial sales. Musk's comments underscore Tesla's unique advantage. While competitors might excel in hardware or software separately, Tesla integrates both, leveraging its automotive expertise to create a robot that's truly intelligent from the ground up. However, Musk was candid about the challenges involved in bringing Optimus to market, which adds a layer of realism to the excitement. He described the project as incredibly difficult, far from a simple endeavor. One of the most complex aspects is the robot's hand, and forearm, which Musk likened to the human equivalent in terms of intricacy. The human hand, with its four fingers and opposable thumb, varying muscle strengths and precise degrees of freedom, is a marvel of evolution, and replicating it requires exceptional electromechanical engineering. Tesla's team is focused on making Optimus's hand dexterous enough for general purpose tasks, such as grasping delicate objects or performing intricate assembly work. Musk noted that this component alone is more challenging than the rest of the robot combined, highlighting the need for custom actuators primarily located in the forearm, just like in humans. Despite these hurdles, progress is evident. Optimus robots are already operational 24-7 in Tesla's Palo Alto engineering headquarters, where they can guide visitors to meeting rooms upon request. This real-time deployment demonstrates that the robot is not just a lab experiment, but a functional entity ready for broader testing. Scaling production is another critical step toward making Optimus available for sale, and Musk outlined ambitious plans in this regard. He revealed that Tesla is building a production line capable of manufacturing a million units per year, with production starting toward the end of 2026. This timeline suggests that initial sales could begin shortly thereafter, potentially in limited quantities to industrial partners before expanding to wider markets. The challenge lies in the absence of an existing supply chain for humanoid robots. Unlike cars or computers, where components are readily available, Tesla must vertically integrate much of the manufacturing process. This means producing parts in-house, from motors and sensors to batteries and AI chips. Musk emphasized that achieving high-volume production will require overcoming bottlenecks in the supply of over 10,000 unique items, but he expressed confidence in Tesla's manufacturing prowess honed through years of ramping up electric vehicle output. Once scaled, Optimus could be priced accessibly. Musk has previously hinted at a target of around $20,000 per unit, making it feasible for businesses to adopt en masse. The potential applications of Optimus extend far beyond factories, painting a picture of a robot that's versatile enough to justify widespread commercial adoption. 
Musk envisions Optimus as a catalyst for sustainable abundance, a world where poverty is eradicated and everyone has access to high-quality services. For example, he described Optimus as an incredible surgeon, capable of performing precise medical procedures with superhuman accuracy. Imagine a future where robotic assistants handle routine surgeries in underserved areas or provide in-home care for the elderly, folding laundry, cooking meals, or even tutoring children. In industrial settings, Optimus could work tirelessly in hazardous environments, like mining or disaster response, boosting productivity without risking human lives. Musk quantified this impact by calling Optimus at scale an infinite money glitch, estimating it could achieve five times the productivity of a human worker since it operates 24-7 without needing breaks or charging if tethered. This productivity multiplier could make working optional for humans, shifting society toward a post-scarcity economy where AI and robotics handle the grunt work. Musk's broader vision ties into Tesla's updated mission of sustainable abundance, going beyond mere sustainable energy. By combining Optimus with advancements in autonomous driving and energy storage, Tesla aims to create an ecosystem where resources are plentiful and accessible. During the call, Musk reiterated his confidence in solving unsupervised full self-driving at a safety level far superior to humans, which directly benefits Optimus through shared AI advancements. What do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.